Say hi. What are you looking at? Okay. I have all the puppies here. Huck, what are you doing? Um, so last night I started getting kind of like a sore throat and it made me nervous because I knew I was going to get sick. And so I was like, okay, so for the next few days I really have to be careful with Lincoln. And then this morning we both woke up sick. So I had to take her to the doctor. Hi. And essentially my doctor said it's just a normal cold. There's not really much I can do because she's so young. So I could just keep her, you know, hydrated and let her sleep a lot. And that's what I do anyway. Hey guys, you have to play at my feet. There's a hole outside right there. So anyway, now we're just gonna sit inside and cuddle all day. All day. Where are you going? Really working that head. Art class is gonna kill me this week. Um, my teachers decided to give us like four or five different assignments. And I did that draw room one. And now I'm working on this one where I drew a fish with pastels and with watercolor. And now I have to draw a third one with acrylic paint. But I don't actually own any acrylic paint because the kit I was supposed to buy at the beginning of this class um, is sold at the college, which is 3,000 miles away from me. So I have to go buy some acrylics in this color scheme. But I had to draw this dang fish three times. And now, I have to paint this one, but I'm still working on it. But it's just kind of making a mess everywhere. I remember when I was little, I wanted to be an artist so bad. Not anymore. So I'm not sure if I said this or not, but today I was actually planning on filming my A Day in the Life. Um, but because we both woke up with colds, I decided not to do it because today I'm just gonna try and focus on getting her as much sleep as possible so it wouldn't be a normal day. Um, and we had to go to the doctor today, so our schedule is kind of weird. So I'm kind of disappointed because I started filming it last night at like two or three when she was waking up. And this morning when we both woke up sick, I just decided I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna have to start again once we get past all this cold. But right now she is sleeping. You're being so sweet, Lincoln. She, uh, you can tell she's kind of, I'm not sure if in pain is the right word, but just uncomfortable from being sick. And I keep having to like use that nose sucker on her. And right now she's just sleeping and she's gonna wake up any minute now to eat, hopefully. I don't wanna wake her up though. We'll see. So I've got Lincoln here and I've decided to take the dog somewhere. Hey guys, hey guys, do you wanna go to the park? <gasps> do you wanna go to the park? Yeah? Oh, so excited. Come on guys, let's go. This is just a huge mistake. There's a huge puddle of standing water and under all that water is just dirt so it's just pure mud and Huck won't leave that area. <gasps> Did you bring me the ball? Billy, you, you gotta drop it if you wanna play fetch. So, okay, bye. Okay, ready, sit. Shake, shake, oh, I guess that's kind of a shake, ready? Oh, ready, oh, googie. Huck's just doing his own thing over there. When we come to the park, I don't think he understands he's supposed to go run around. He just kind of smells stuff, but you know, you do you, boo. Oh my gosh, Huck found a butterfly and now he's chasing it around the park. <laughs> oh, did it leave, buddy? I'm sorry. Huck, come here. Oh, poor Bella. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. I was closing the back gate to the car and I hit her head with it. And I hit it pretty hard. I'm so sorry. So 
So I'm just gonna sit with here, her here for a second <laughs> until she calms down. Yeah, and then I have to put her in a car seat so we can go home. I'm so sorry. We've probably been home for like 15 minutes and she has just been crying and crying and crying. I'm so sorry. So I don't know what to do in this situation, so I know it's going to be a little late when I put this up. But if someone could tell me... I gave her some Tylenol to help with like the pain and the swelling. But, and I checked her for a concussion because I know how to check for a concussion in adults. I don't know if it's the same for babies, but other than that, I don't know what I would do in this situation. And that is honestly like my biggest fear. Like whenever I'm holding her and I open a cabinet, I'm like, how awful would that be if I hit her? So I always like make sure to move her because I couldn't imagine how terrifying that is just be like being held and all of a sudden just a huge slab of wood comes and hits you in the face but I can't believe I hit her with the door of the car I feel so bad this is like the first time she stopped screaming and she's kind of going on and off now but oh man your lungs have gotten a workout this past half hour I'm so sorry I had to sit in the car with her and hold her for like 10-15 minutes and even then, she was still screaming. I just put her in her car seat and drove home. I'm so sorry, Link. It's okay. No, it's okay. Hi, sweet. Hi. No, I'm over here. Hi. Oh, it's so sweet. So, I am... Hi. I called her doctor and she had me check her pupils and they're getting big and small with light, which is good. Um, she gave me a few things to look out for and so I'm doing that and she's not allowed to sleep for two hours so I can just like watch her and make sure she's okay. Um, so we got to keep you awake for two whole hours. I don't even know what we're going to do. She's already been awake for like almost two hours so this will be a new record for you. Is that not fun for you? Hi. Hi, Nick. Yeah. Hi. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. Mm hmm. happy now I bet your pain meds kicked in by pain meds I definitely mean Tylenol I didn't give her like a Laura tab or anything but she's feeling better so we just gotta give her a couple hours so Lincoln took a little nap and now she is awake so I'm gonna feed her and get her bath ready and give her her bath and then I'm gonna put her down for bed oh bath why are you so high up here I just kind of do her nighttime routine. I am working on some schoolwork, um, kind of doing stuff in advance. I want to get everything done that I have to do kind of over the few days I'm driving to Utah because I do have stuff due on that like weekend. And so I want to get it done now so that I'm not like stressing out having to stop at a Starbucks to do schoolwork while I'm trying to drive cross country with my mom. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm almost done. I've got almost everything. So. This should be an early night. It's 8 o'clock. The dogs are fed. They've gone outside. I see you give Lincoln a bath and do her nighttime routine. So we're going to bed. Good night. So I realize it's going to be pitch black, so I'm just going to leave it on my phone. Um, this is going to be my a day in the life of a newborn. And so I thought I would start in the nighttime when I do feedings. So she fell asleep at 8 o'clock and slept for 3 hours, woke up and ate 2 ounces. And 
now I have birthed her and I'm gonna rock her and she'll fall back asleep.